Okay. So we want to show you something that has emerged in the last five years of basketball, mm -hmm. an attack um, prior to the dribble. So yes. you'll see a lot of players do it. Um, the, the first player that started doing it um, big time that we started seeing was Zion Williamson. Mm -hmm. Zion's doing all kind of stuff. Um, he is <laughs> a, changing again. He is a combo Sorry. guard that got gigantic. Yes. Um, and yep. his life story. So this, uh, we first started seeing this in Europe because um, what this what this is, is you have the ball and it, as mm -hmm. you go, um, let's say I have it here, yep. as of my attack, instead of bringing the ball across and dribbling, this is actually, I've got it here and I throw it across and go. Mm. Right, so that's what yep. this is. I got it here, I'm gonna throw across and go. All right, so we actually have a clip of a young player overseas internationally doing this just in free play. So take a, it's just like an eight second clip, take a look at that. Okay, did you see it? Here's one of the things that happens. If a player plays and, they're, and they've learned to catch and look before they attack, they're also sometimes vulnerable to they've pivoted mm -hmm. and sometimes they're vulnerable, vulnerable to ripping and lifting a, lifting yeah. a, let's say this is my open foot, this is my pivot foot. Sometimes somebody will lift this off foot That's right. ahead, ahead of time, right? And you're a ref. Do you yeah. call those a Oh, game? that's absolutely a tra travel, yep. right? Yep. So this is, if you do this, it doesn't really matter which pivot foot because you're releasing that ball as you go. That's right. Now, and, and the crazy thing about it is, right now people aren't stealing it. For whatever reason, right. people aren't stealing it. I think partially because you've got this, you've held defense at bay, mm -hmm. and you're, but, but it is, and you can, you can do this. Yep. You can do it with a, a jab, and then a, it's basically a pass to yourself. It is. Instead of, instead yep. of a, a jab, then I pull it back and I reach for the dribble. Yeah. It is a jab, throw it. And I, I think one of the reasons why it's so effective is that the defense just is not looking for it. You know, if, if you're looking to make an attack, it's typically done on the outside of your body. And so, you know, if you're doing this 70, 80, 90 percent of the time, making traditional rips, putting it on your hip and closing the defense off, Okay, the defense gets accustomed to that and they're looking they for that, right? They're responding to that. But I think part of being a very good offensive player is, is the, um, the element of surprise, trying to add the element of surprise. Many times shooting the basketball, I would use that. When can I shoot when the defense doesn't think I doesn't will shoot? It. Right? right. And, and that way you can get additional shots off. Same way with the dribble move. And I think this is one of those uh, dribble moves that's, uh, that the defense just doesn't anticipate. It's like a self-pass crossover. Yep. yep, and so if I'm here and then I pass and I go, I mean, that is a very quick first step. And I already it gives you also the ability to use that crossover, crossover footwork, step. right? We have the crossover so, step. So and, now uh, I'm here. We have the crossover step in, uh, in one of our classes mm -hmm. that's a really nice – Combination. So, so go look through the classes for the crossover step. Yeah. It's a really nice thing to add to this. Fantastic. Yeah, it goes very well with this move. Yes. So we're going to show you this in slow motion now. 